Claude just launched Skills. It's one of those amazing tools in the education space that is really changing how we take a look at courses and more importantly, how we think about our own personal moat on how we can protect our skills because now we can create skills and sell them. I'm going to show you how to do that. But more importantly, we can add as many skills as we want, as many skills as we need, as quickly as we need them to our own library of available skills that our AI agents have available to them when we're starting building and growing our own education business. If you haven't seen these before, my name is James at TradingSites.io. We talk about everything having to do with starting, building, growing an education business, specifically AI learning communities. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a little bit more detail on the skills that Claude launched on Thursday of last week. And I'm actually going to show you how they get installed and how they can get created and in fact how you can create them. And in the next video, we'll spend some time actually taking a look at how you can monetize your skills by creating your own skills packages. Now, I know I'm talking quickly in this one because I'm really excited about it. I've created four or five skills in the last uh, couple hours. The problem I'm running into is I'm running out of rate limit use on my Claude install. That's one of the things you have to recognize is uh, I'm going to bring up the page here is you do need a paid version of Claude. I'll just show you the one that I have here. I'm going to open it up so that you can see it and uh, make sure we're on the good screen here. So this is the paid version. I'm on my desktop. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, it says Pro Plan, which is the very, very first level of uh, the cheapest level of paid plan. You do need a paid plan. Uh, and this particular brand new part that they just launched is something called skills. And if I'm going to put the links to it, but you can find out at the anthropic.com forward slash news. And if you're not familiar with uh, anthropic is the parent company of Claude, which is the large language model tool uh, that we have installed. And it's one of the ones I use on a regular basis and I've done a number of videos on. Now, if you look on the right hand side here, we'll do this one just so you can see it. Uh, it says introducing skill agents. I'll put the link. Please go and watch the short video that's there and a little bit of an explanation. Um, these are different than custom GPTs, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, but these are absolutely amazing because they take prompting and context or all of the work we do explaining the situation. It removes all of that and allows us, just like Neo in the Matrix, to learn any skill that we need at any point that we need it. So all of the things that you want to hand off to those AI agent or agents to get work done, and you want to make sure that they're following a standard operating procedure that you've decided is the best way to do things. In a second, done. As many as you want your own library of unlimited skills for you or for your customers and or students, people that you're teaching. So quick look at this. Couple things here. Here's the video, uh, and I'll show you how to enable them and some of the ones that are there. But here's the part that is kind of interesting. These skills stack together. So think of them as specific agents for a specific task, and you can stack them together. And Claude understands which agent or which skill to use at which point to get a completed task done. And I'm going to show you how this fits together as well. It's also available not only in the Claude. Uh, desktop, but it's in the API, in the apps, it's available everywhere in all of the Claude tools. Now, when I'm doing this, which is four days after it launched, the thing to remember is this is a standard that came out from Anthropic, just like Model Context Protocol, that thing we've been talking about earlier that allows your AI tool to connect to multiple different tools. I think this skill will be a kind of a de facto standard across the industry. So I would suspect that everyone is going to start launching this in the next uh, week to two weeks as it comes on. So it's completely a port uh, um, portable. Efficient. Uh, if you've been using any of the AI tools, what often happens is you'll get into any of the longer or more complex tasks and it goes, oh, sorry, the context window is full. You got to restart again. The way that these ones work is these skills are only added when needed. So it means the context or that skill package, it doesn't get uploaded and use up all of your tokens right away. It only gets used when it's actually needed. Um, and these ones can also include code and run things and create files, all of that additional stuff 
that would be great if we're doing a whole bunch of task related items that have to do with creating content, marketing content, organizing or running our business, all of those SOPs that you may have think, um, think of or want to be uh, creating or doing or not doing and would like someone to do it perfectly each and every time. So where do they come in? How do they fit? And uh, why don't I show you right here? Um, if you are using Claude, we'll just pull up the screen so you have it. Bottom left-hand corner, you can see just where the bottom left is there. You'll see that there's a little thing here that says James Pro Plan. What I want you to do is make sure that you have the pro version or at least a paid version. You go to settings and then when you click settings, you'll see there's one here called capabilities and I want you to click capabilities. When you're in capabilities, you'll see where it says experimental here. Make sure that code execution and file creation is enabled and then down below it, you're going to see skills. And there's a whole bunch of them here that are ones that Anthropic created, but we can also upload our own skills. And I'm going to show you how this works. And then in some future videos, I'll show you how to actually get into the meat and potatoes uh, of this. The cool thing that is available right off the start is that Anthropic created a skill, which is for skill creator. So all we need to do is basically ask it to create a skill and it will create a skill for us. And this one is actually turned on. So I made sure to enable it. We'll look at it in a second. The other part that's interesting is that there was some from Anthropic, right? But if you look here, I've also created the lesson plan creator, the educational skill creator. I'm creating my own skills that are educationally uh, focused. I have my brand guidelines, I have a skill description generator, I have a lesson hook creator, all sorts of stuff right here. So why don't we take a look at this one here. I've got my lesson hook creator. Let's try this one first so you can see how they work. So I'm just going to go and we'll do the try and chat. And this is a default message and I'm just going to say, make sure my keyboard is engaged here. You say use my I'm going to just say use my lesson hook creator because I'm telling it what skill I want to use um, for a, I'm just going to say for on onboarding new students to a class. So what's happened is Claude has actually gone and it's gone to my library of skills and it's reading the lesson hook creator skill to understand how to use it properly. So I asked it basically to create a lesson hook for my lesson on this topic and it's actually gone and do it. Now I had this skill set up so it would create five different hooks with five different hook styles. So this is what I got. Hook one, the pain point opener. And it's a problem pain point hook. And it has a nice great hook there to start with the lesson and explains why it works. I've got the curiosity gap hook. I've got the story case study hook. I've got the shocking stat fact hook. And number five is the question challenge hook. So my skill that I created was for basically creating really compelling hooks using a framework or a process that I wanted. Anytime I want to use the skill, it is now available to me. The cool part is, of course, is that I can create as many skills for whatever I want. I can even sell my skills now. Now, I want you to think about that a little bit. We have a position now where not only are we required to teach content or not only do we have to teach content, we can actually give skills to people, have them apply the skill in their situation and ask us questions back, which is fundamentally different than what you've been thinking about creating content. I think we can create skills, sell the skills and help or guide people on the use of the skills that they have in their particular library. Now, how do we actually create these? What are the things that make them tick? Is it really hard to create? No, not at all. In fact, there's a real simple way to do it and I'll show you how that is now. If I go down to the bottom left again, we'll look where it has my settings. I'm going to go to settings and capabilities. You'll go and see that when I do that, we scroll down a bit and it says skills. I can upload skills. And I also have one here that is, 
at the bottom, which enabled, and it's the skill creator, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I have the name of it. And in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my chat. Uh, make sure I go back to the chats. We'll open up the one I was on. So there's the hooks that we were created, we were looking at. In this case, what I want to do is I want to say, create a skill using, I'm going to make sure I put that in, my skill creator. Um, Create a, uh, create a skill using my skill creator skill uh, to uh, create emails on board any new students to my course. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just saying, hey, I want to create my own skill. It's for writing emails and onboarding emails. So what it's doing, please let me take a look at your, to build a custom skill for the onboarding emails. There it's looking at the instructions in the skill. This is a skill that I just added, right? It's, well, it was one that was there from Anthropic, but think of any skill that you want. You can create one here and it's going to go through and it's actually going to go and do all of the work to create the files that are required. And while that's working in the background, the thing that this does is it creates a zip file. And if you have that zip file, all you need to do is drag the zip file, and I'll show you how to do this in a second, over to Claude when you do an upload and you now have the skill. So this isn't a course you have to take to learn about doing it. This is a skill that is easily implemented and assigned to your Claude account. And anyone with that zip file now has the ability to do just that, add their own skill to their library. Okay, that took a minute to do. So what I'm gonna show you is now I've got my, uh, I us pull it up actually so we could see it here. I've actually got my skill that was created. Basically where I used my skill creator to create a skill for onboarding. And in this case, it's done. So I've got my onboarding email kill skill creator. Uh, it's complete and what's inside. So I've got the skill.md file, which is the one with all the instructions and it's complete instructions for generating three, five or seven email onboarding sequences, has reference files that are only loaded when needing. So copywriting principles, subject line formulas, beginner psychology insights. Remember, this is your framework, your process that you're putting into the skill. Some example templates and just say create five onboarding sequence using my for this audience. Some examples, and we'll keep this one here. I'm just going to copy it so that we have it. Um, actually, we'll do this one as well. This one's probably a little bit easier. I don't want a big long one. So I'm going to use a prompt here in a second, but this is what we get all of the stuff and it's awesome. So so all I need to do now is I got my zip file. I need to actually install my skill into Claude. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to go take a look again at my Claude desktop app. It can be the web app, but I'm in the desktop app. If I look in the bottom left where it says James, my name in the pro plan, I'm going to go to settings, make sure I get it to click settings and then capabilities. And I'm going to add a new capability by just scrolling a little bit. Make sure we got the right one in the skill section. I'm going to click upload skill. And in my case, I need to drag the zip file that was created and make sure that I upload my skill. I'm just going to go over to my other screen here, grab my skill. And there it is. And it's the student onboarding email creator and skill loaded successfully. Now I have another skill that's available to me and anytime I want to use that, I can. So let's go see what happens because I have the student onboarding email creator. You can see it's now enabled and I'm going to go and we'll just click this one. I just want to make sure I'm using it here. And let's go and try this chat. Uh, I'm just going to say, can you uh, create onboarding emails? 
for my new WordPress course. So again, I'm putting the topic in and I'm letting it know which particular tool or skill I'm using. And we'll put a period and I'm just going to hit enter. Now what should happen here, again, it's going to look for the instructions from that particular skill. There's, it's reading the file. Reading the onboard skill kit to find out what it should be doing. And again, this is any skill. I just happen to create one here. You can create as many as you want. And now while we've got it uh, onboarding, create it. And there's the sequence. The emails are all done. Email body, subject lines, all sorts of stuff that is there, including the links. And it's going to go through and do this. Now, this is, um, this is a fundamental change on how we actually think about getting things done when it comes to using these tools. I've been talking about having automations and agents and avatars coming, specifically the agents and the avatars in 2026. I think this is the first start to it because when you think about it, you have a library of skill skills. Think of it as a library of agents. Those agents follow your standard operating procedures the skill sets or bundles that you've created so that you know when you ask for that particular skill to be used, you know exactly what it is that you're going to get coming out of it. This is a real cool change and it makes you think about how can I take advantage of this when I'm the teacher and or the course creator, but also how can I monetize it? Because skills can now be sold. And that's what I'm going to show you in the next video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Go and visit the community. It's free. All of the information that I do here in the notes are all available there. There's over 500 different tutorials plus the community where you can ask your questions about starting, building, and growing an education business. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Expect the best.